Today I'm going to talk about the week 2 assignment of the network analysis where we have to collect uh, some data set from the internet and uh, uh, find out some attribute about the network and display some um, graphs and visual information about the graphs about the network. So we so we started with network X and Panda and the map out live uh, to start with and we got the data about Facebook networks from the snap website with the uh, the different attributes that you could clearly see here the number of nodes uh, 4039 and the number of edges 88234 and the other thing that we want to do talk about is the diameter of this network is 8. This data was available in the edge list format edge list is and here you have a list of uh, nodes and you have the other nodes that are connected to that nodes available in a single file like just one after the other into the information so you can see like 0 is connected to 1 0 is connected to 2 0 is connected to 4 and so on and so forth similarly 1 is connected to 0 2 is connected to 48 and so on and so forth so this is just a sample information it is not exactly representation of the data it's just to say how the data looks in the edge list format so <coughs> we, we wrote a function to just take the uh, edge information and to, uh, return the uh, graph object so that we can call this. So we, to start with we passed our edge list information to our function and we got the graph object back from here and we ran some info and we got the number of edges and number of number of nodes of this network and the degree which is 43 so uh, degree indicates yes degree as we know degree is something uh, the number of nodes that are going or connecting to the other nodes so uh, in this case we are saying so facebook we can say it's the number of friends that one person is having so here we are saying on an average one person is having 43 friends but it may not be the reality because one person might have more friends and one person might have very less friends so this is this is the average calculation and the diameter is uh, the network diameter we can say it's 8 uh, because this this set of code took very long to run so that's why we have this note here if it is until unless it is really important to recalculate this it is not required to run this code and uh, uh, we had some problem with the network x other functions we were not able to execute them so because maybe they are outdated and we didn't have the right documents to refer so we started we, were, uh, we wanted to create the uh, degree distribution of each nodes and then uh, plot it onto the graphs but uh, so to start with that we use panda to read all the agent information and we can pass that information into our into our different functions we created and then we were able to return the uh, degree and the nodes from that function uh, so if i pass here the i'm passing my graph object uh, i can actually i'm passing here my calculate degree and i'm passing the uh, here I'm able to pass that how many degrees I need so I'm using zero because I need to get the all the data so I'm returning all this information into the graph uh, degree and the GPD node uh, at variable and I'm able to s display this information back in here that's so the number of uh, so the maximum degree is 1045 and the minimum degree of the node is 1 we have calculated this information here you can variable see this now we, we would actually use the the information that we got from your degree and nodes and to plot our graph so we have converted this into a data frame and then we uh, pass this information into into a bar plot so to display it to, before we go there we just wanted to show you how this data is actually uh, making making sense so as you see for node 1 we have total 17 degree so here I'm displaying the GPD of 1 so it will talk about all the connected nodes and so this is actually an edge attribute so you can see for so one is connected with zero one is connected with 48 and so on and so forth and the total number of nodes that you will count it is coming up to 17 and the anything that you see in these uh, brackets which is curly brackets which where is which is mostly empty is because we don't have any edge attribute and that's where that information is blank and this is a high level uh, graph of or, or the network uh, view of the full data set which looks very condensed at some places and uh, cl clustered or small groups at some places so it is uh, 
kind of the information or the data set that we expect within the Facebook which is which has a big clusters and then there is some sort of a betweenness with some some nodes and some smaller groups like this and these groups are connected with this small set of group or people so it would be interesting to analyze the subset of group and finding the association between the subgroups as part of the future assignments. So to continue with our degree distribution, uh, we have the number of nodes and the number of degrees, these uh, uh, number of nodes that are actually having that number of degrees and then using that information we are plotting our uh, graph and we can see here, so and where we have x axis uh, as a degree and the y axis with the number of nodes and we can very well see that so we have uh, 0 to 200 is the number of uh, uh, nodes that are falling in this range mostly and so there, is, there are most of the nodes are actually close to 0 to I can say 0 to 50 or maybe yeah 0 to 50 majority of the nodes because we know with the 43s are average so uh, most of them will fall below the uh, average or maybe close to average so we can see this is like close to this could be my hundred so I can see like majority of my data is is within 100 and then there are most there are few countable um, outliers that we, we will be after 200 we can if I go back a step and I can show you here we have a sorted data and you can see here we have few nodes that are they have high degree and I think these are the data points that is coming up here and similarly if we, if we plot the box plot of the same information we can very well identify them going uh, outside of the main box plot and so degree distribution shows us how the degrees are distributed um, and it, it gives us a hint like uh, where to focus on if we have to perform at the network analysis depending upon what type of analysis we are doing we can actually target the data or target the group of people of the network and here we have a we actually started working with Giphy to get some of the graphs and this is one of the graphs that we got from Giphy which shows again the same information where the network is so condensed and connected with very few um, nodes uh, with very few edges between the different uh, clusters uh, these lines will be having very high betweenness and it would be interesting to analyze such sort of data in future thank you